Hello everybody, my name is Herman Lewis and welcome to my channel, The Last Natufian. Let's take a look at the Eye of Ra and the Eye of Horus and how it's related to the double crown of Egypt or the Peshent. The important region they're talking about is between Dendera, Kina, Luxor, the Valley of the Kings, and the coast of the Red Sea. The Kina Safaga shear zone creates a natural path to the Red Sea and also splits the Upper Nile and Lower Nile. I circled areas that are symbolized in their carvings. I rotated this map for comparison. You can see all the roads from the Red Sea to the Nile, and all the red dots are where all the mines are. And here I added the double crown of Egypt, the lands between the Nile and the Red Sea. So this is the double crown of Egypt, and right behind it is Sol, the round sun god. Every day from Dendera and Cana, looking to the east, the sun, the moon, and the Milky Way all rise over Sol. And the horns around Sol are simply the roads around Sol. Before it was the double crown of Egypt, this area was another symbol, and that was the Eye of Ra. Isn't that just beautiful? So this is how they are related. The Eye of Ra was changed into the double crown of Egypt. The Eye of Ra is on the left side of the road to the Red Sea, and the Eye of Horus on the right side. The spirals are meaningful too, and I'll be doing another video on that shortly. Thank you for watching everybody. Stay tuned for the next video as it involves a bit of Christianity. Take care.